Welcome to the Muse Cage Basketball Network. This is a story from the book of Antetokounmpo, the gift and the game. Chosen by the gods, long arms, huge hands, height, athleticism. These were the gifts he was given, but the gifts alone did not guarantee his success. He first had to find his purpose in the world in order to open the gifts he was given. For Giannis, the quest for his purpose ended at 14. But finding his purpose was only the beginning of his journey. Maximizing the gifts the gods gave him is where his real adventure began. So he strengthened his arms, improved his ball handling, worked on his shooting, and developed the post. He improved year over year. He began to command double teams in the post. He became a defensive force, a great passer, great rebounder, and a player that could now knock down the J with ease. But Giannis wasn't satisfied. He believed he could do more with the gifts he was given. So he studied. He studied the game to learn where to position teammates when the double came. He learned the offensive tendencies of his opponent so that he could win the game on the defensive end of the floor. He learned that a smile is made more powerful by a scowl. And a scowl is made inspirational by a smile. Giannis evolved. His frame changed, his game changed, and his fame changed. But his gifts remained the same. Long arms, huge hands, height, athleticism. You see, we all have our gifts. We are all chosen by the gods. But maybe, just maybe, the greatest gift we can receive is the gift of understanding how to use the gifts we've been given. This is the greatest game of all. And Giannis understands that the greatest game of all is the game worth playing forever.